Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds sum of all the parent nodes having child node x. First, let us take an example. For input x equal to 2, the nodes 4, 2 and 5 and the sum will be 4 plus 2 plus 5 that is 11. Now let us see the algorithm. Let us also have a sample tree to test our algorithm. Let's assume that we have to find for x equal to 2. So we pass root which is 4 and 2 to x to sum of parent of x util function. Next we take a sum variable initialized to 0 and pass the root sum and x to sum of parent of x function. Now in the sum of parent of x function, we check if root is null. As it is not, we check if root's left exist and root's left's data is x. As it is true, we add root's data to sum. So sum will be 4. Then we recursively find the required parent nodes in left and right subtrees. So first we pass the left child of 4 which is 2 using a call stack. Again we check if root is null. As it is not, we check if root's left or right is x. Since 2's left is 7, the first part of the OR statement is not satisfied but the second part is satisfied. So we add 2 to sum, hence sum will be 6. We pass the left child of 2 which is 7. So root will point to 7. As root is not null, we check 7's left or right is 2. As it is not true, we pass the left child of 7 which is null. So root will point to null. As root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Next we pass the right child of 7 which is also null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for root 7. Execution for root 2 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 2 which is also 2. So root will point to 2. As root is not null, we check if the 2 in level 3 is left or right is 2. As it is not true, the second if condition does not get satisfied and we pass the left child of 2 which is null. So root points to null. Since root is pointing to null, we return to the previous call. Next, we pass the right child of 2 in level 3 which is also null. Again as root is null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for node 2. Execution for node 4 is resumed and now we pass the right child of 4 which is 5. So root will point to 5. Since root is not null, we check if left or right of root is equal to x. As it is not, we pass the left child of 5 which is null. Since root is null, we return to the previous call. Next we pass the right child of 5 which is also null. As root is null, we return to the previous call and finish execution for root 5. Execution for root 4 is also over and we have the final sum which is 6. Now let us have a look at the time complexity of the program. This code will run in big O of 2n-1 complexity where n is the number of nodes in the binary tree. With this we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.